Welcome to another Tradeblazer episode. In the last one I did get my Inquisitor's Mace and Inquisitor's Great Helm. But I want to start off this video by doing a bit of a, some random stuff. I want to get the Ring of Suffering, which is pretty easy to get I would say. I just need a Senai shard and I basically have it. I already have the crafting level for it. And I actually spent my like 2 million cash pile on buying an Onyx with Tokol. So I have that done already and... Uh, just need to get that Senai from Demonic Gorillas and we can make it quite an upgrade from a Ring of Dueling. Even though it's only a defensive ring, it's going to be very good for like AFK in General Grad or for uh, a Bandos Hilt and stuff like that. But hope you guys will enjoy the episode. Okay, well uh, that's quite a difference from last time. That was the first kill on the entire task. 135 left. Okay, easy. Time to use the Senite on the fire with the Onyx. There we go, to get an uh, uncut Senite and we can now make the uh, ring. Got everything ready, time to make the ring. There we go, that's the Senite ring. Just quickly enchant it for the Ring of Suffering. And this now has like 10 plus in every defensive stat. And of course also a prayer bonus. There you can see two prayer bonus and 10 in everything. But if I spend, I think, 725k cash at the Nightmare Zone, which I actually currently do not have, but will get very soon, I can double that, essentially, which is very, very nice. Second thing I want to get done is I want to kill Jad again for another Fire Cape that, of course, is guaranteed 250 points for sacrificing it to access the Inferno. And then the second thing is I can get even more points if I do it within a spe special time limit. And with this gear, I should be able to do it pretty damn fast. There we go, both the 35 minute completion and the uh, 25 minute completion. So that is 750 points in total. And uh, I do have another fire cape now that I can sacrifice for 250 more points. I've never done the Inferno so far. I might try it out in the league later on. But it would have to be with melee which is going to be pretty weird. Because I have read up on guides and stuff for mostly mage and range. But uh, let's exchange the fire cape. Well okay do I just use it on him instead maybe. Yeah okay sacrifice my cape. And... Yes, hand it over, and that is going to be 250 more points. You can actually get a lot of points for killing the giant mole, which is a boss I barely touched yet. I got 1kc on it, I think, and uh, it is 750 points for 750 kills. You can see here, every 250 kills you get 250 points. But for it, I need a bullseye lantern, and this boss has a 1 in 42 drop rate of it. So uh, it shouldn't be that long, and it's pretty good to kill this boss as well for the money. I need 725k cash to imbue my ring, which I still don't have. By the way, if you look back at when I did Jad, I actually did it without a defender. I had nothing in my shield slot. I didn't even notice until I was done. KC21, smoke battle staff. I don't think that's a task. Yeah, there is really no use for that, I think. There we go, 61 kills for the Bullseye Lantern, and uh, I'm out. Should be 50 points to light the Bullseye Lantern, there we go, and uh, now I can actually get into some Giant Mole. Something that's going to get pretty annoying with the uh, Giant Mole is that I don't actually get noted Mole Skins and Mole Claws, and I don't have the tracker on the boss, I have to run around until I just find it, because I have to complete the Hero's Quest, for the locator, because at the Faladar Hard Diary, which is the thing that unlocks both of those things, I have to complete the Hero's Quest and some other quests as well. And I really do not feel like doing the Hero's Quest, it is such an annoying one. 25 million defense experience, so that is now all the melee stats at 25 million, including hit points of course, and I'm now at 93 KC. And I have to say, this is painful. It is probably not at all worth doing this for points. It takes so long without the diary done and without Darox and all that. Because if I did have Darox, it would still be pretty annoying. Because it, with the Drainer Relic, I would be selfing myself up all the time and just doing less damage. So it's kind of annoying that I have to use this gear for the mole. And of course, as I said, not having the navigation is really annoying. But there is a hard task for 100 kills because you only collect the claws here pretty much. Uh, and you just turn 100 claws in and you get a 100 point task done. I'm just going to stop at 100 and turn in the 100 claws to get the points. And I'm actually going to do something with some stuff I have in my bank. I'll show you in a sec. So here you go. You just talk to Wise on the Gardener when you have a 100 mole claws and you get these two packages. 100 points, that is the task I wanted to complete, and now we just have to 
Okay, I have to go to a bank then uh, to open those. So let's open these now and extract. That is a lot of bird nests and I will be able to open them later for a lot of seeds, hopefully. I can just do this all the time because that is going to be a total of 100 bird nests, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's more actually. Is it like 15 or how many is in each one of them? 70. So do I get... Oh, it's different ones. So these ones are ring nests. Which are definitely not as useful and not as many. So I guess it's 100 nests in total. So 70 seed nests, which is definitely better than the ring ones. And only 30 of the ring ones. Not sure where they went. Quickly opened all those 70 bird nests with seeds. And I got a good amount of seeds. I would say probably the best ones being maybe the U seed. I actually only got one of those. One Snapdragon, some Mahogany, which is very, very good farming experience, so that's pretty nice as well. One Maple Seed, which might be the only tree seed I can actually use here. What I wanted to talk about at my bank is, I have a lot of things that I've got from PVMing and just doing bosses in general that I haven't done anything with so far, and that is, for example, all these logs. These are like 3.4k fire making experience each. So this alone is like 4 million... Four and a half million even fire making experience and this is a decent amount as well. I also have all of these bars and uh, just from the steel bars I will probably get enough. Actually I'm not sure how much they are per bar but I'm currently 70 smithing and the only goal I really want is 80 smithing to be able to make a god sword. I already have the stuff to do one of them but I will prefer the bandos god sword but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of these bars. I'm going to burn all of the logs that I can't find now for some reason. I can't remember which type. There we go. Uh, I'm going to use all of these and I'm going to check what levels we get to in both fire making and smithing. So first off, I used all of the bars I had and I got all the way to 82 smithing. And I'm just going to in the same clip sell all of these to the store. I can't be arsed selling like five of them or something and then world hopping it's not that much money anyways 178k and then i'll probably just sell this to the general store it's probably not worth alking it maybe actually it would be it could be some nice uh, magic experience meanwhile doing some something else so i might as well just keep it Actually, before I do some fire making with all those logs, if you look at the experience drops that I get from mining volcanic ash, which normally is very insignificant, it is absolutely busted on the leagues. 1.3k experience drops almost, and that is not how it's supposed to be. It's actually kind of bugged. So you're supposed to get like 10 experience regardless of how many ash you get. But on the league, it gives you, I think, 10 experience... Uh, per ash that you get which is like six or seven every single time so the experience is multiplied by seven or six or whatever the amount of ash you get and then times 16 so you basically get like six times the experience you're supposed to get and uh, with the rates i'm getting like 1.2 million mining experience per hour so i just want to do some mining even though i might not max this account i just want to make use of this before maybe it gets fixed the two future breakpoints when I should get more volcanic ash is at 82, which is in one mine, and then 97. And as I said, it is bugged that the more ash you get, the more experience you get. So let's see. My current experience drops when I mine once is a 1 to 80. And now with 82 at the next breakpoint, I should be getting 160 more experience, which is 1600. Wait, that's even more. That's like... How much more? That's 320 more experience. So... Even double, that is insane. Might as well, meanwhile doing all the mining, use all the Raynar seeds that I got from Siliana grinding. And uh, I have of course the botanist perk, so I get double the amount of uh, herbs every single time. So from these 30, I should be able to make a lot of prayer potions. Thought I might as well plant some mahogany trees meanwhile doing the mining. And one died, unfortunately. The growth time is usually like three and a half days on these trees, so it's insanely long. But with the botanist perk, it's about 17 hours, so it's still been a while since I post, uh, not posted, planted these. And I'm going to replant this one, but the experience drops are going to be insane. Let's see what I'm going to get from checking a mahogany tree. How much? Wait. Oh, I didn't have experience drops on. I'll see on the next one. 66 and 100 points. The next uh, drop is 251k. I got from, like... 
60 farming or 59 I think all the way to 70 in that two trees that's insane when I said I wanted to make use of the volcanic ash, I really meant it. This is going to be 97 mining, and the reason why I'm recording here is because this is another threshold, so I won't get 1.6k experience anymore, I will get like 1900 something. Yeah, 1920. And you pretty much get like 1000 mines per hour, so you get like 1.9 million experience now, and before I got 1.6 million experience an hour, so I should be 99 in like one and a half hour or something like that, maybe a bit less. Here we go, this is going to be 99 mining, very nice to have that really annoying skill out of the way. And meanwhile, doing all this mining, I have got 73 farming and I have four Raynor seeds and there's actually four planted as well. So technically eight Raynor seeds left and I'm almost at 300 Raynors. And I also have some yew trees planted and some mahogany trees, so I will be getting some nice farming experience in the future as well. But let's go and get 99 mining. Hopefully, there we go, 99, 250 points. Of course, I have to imbue my ring. Let's uh, put the money in and imbue it so the stats get doubled. Having an imbued ring is quite a lot nicer than... Uh, oh, it even doubles the prayer bonus, I didn't know that. But uh, yeah, having that ring is quite a lot better than the unimbued one. Finally got to using all the logs that I had in the bank and I went from, I believe, I don't really remember, but I think like 71, somewhere around there, fire making, all the way to 94, halfway to 95. And uh, what I want to do now is General Grador because I do want to get a Banos God Sword. I'm not sure where I'm going to use it, I guess I can use it for raids, but I think it's the only God Sword that's actually useful in any capacity for me. When you have Draining Strikes, you don't really need the Saradomin God Sword, except for, I guess, if you're doing some other content than the Nightmare, but uh, I do think that Draining Strikes kind of uh, diminishes the use for the Saradomin God Sword compared to the Bandos one, so I'm going to be doing some Grador. And uh, if I don't get the hilt right away, then I should be getting some magic log drops as well from the boss. So uh, I will be getting even more fire making experience most likely. Did some AFK fishing and got 500 raw monkfish. I'm currently by the way 93 fishing and after cooking these I should be 96, 97 somewhere around. KC number 130 for Bandos chest plate. It's pretty much only 174k alk at this point. Another Bandos item on KC 204, but again, pretty much just alks. Even more alks incoming. Would be nice to see a hilt at this point. I'm over the drop rate now. Well, uh, at least I am getting a bigger cash pile. <laughs> I started with like no money and I'm at like 1. Well, almost 2 mil at this point. Well, at least I can't complain. I'm getting a bunch of drops. It's not really the ones I want, but uh, yeah, it's something at least. I actually completely forgot about this, but 250 points for 250kc. I guess the Bandos is going to be the one I do 500kc on. And straight after that, 254kc for the Bandos hilt. I did get a Godsword shard, and I'm not sure if I already have... Uh, I think I have one of those, or maybe two. Because if I have only one, then I can actually make two Godswords, because I will have duplicates of each one of them. Oh, it was the one I only had one of, so that is perfect. I can now make two Godswords right away. That's going to be so nice. Here we go, time to make the two Godswords. I guess I just do that. Yep, that is the Saradomin Godsword and the Bandos Godsword. And I think equipping just any Godsword is 250 points. Th so there we go. I don't think there's any for specific Godswords. No, there doesn't seem to be. So uh, at least we have two now from uh, nothing. So that is pretty nice. And of course, most essentially the Bandos Godsword. There's actually two tasks that are very easy to complete that I haven't done yet and it is 100 points for just a game of veteran pest control completion and 100 points for keeping the Void Knight above 150 HP, so I might as well just do them real quick. Both of the tasks completed in the first game, just the completion and the Void Knight took pretty much no damage at all, so uh, both of the tasks should be completed, yeah there we go. I guess it's time to make use of all those Raynars I got from the farm runs, because I do want to get to 72 herb lore, which is going to be probably pretty easy with the Raynars I have, because there is also a task to make ranging potions, and I haven't had any ranging potions at all on the account, so having some of those is going to make things easier for ranged. About to complete the task for 100 points to make 20 ranging potions, 
and uh, my herblore level is currently 76, so I got quite a lot of herblore levels for that. And my total level is getting closer to the 2k mark, which is 250 points. So uh, I'm going to try in the near future to get some of my lower skills up, for example like construction, which is very, very fast free total levels. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to get 2k total, I think. But with that, I'm going to end the video. I have quite a lot of skills that are pretty easy 99s to be honest, that's going to give me a lot of points. Like fishing, if I just get that to 99, I will have enough food to get 99 cooking. Then I'm 95 fire making, which is very easy to get to 99. I can either woodcut for that, which might be the best thing to do. And I also have like magic, which is very easy to get to 99. You can just look at my skills and see how many easy 99s I have. Which is going to be very nice and I kind of do feel like I want to max sometime in the league. I'm not sure about if I will do it fast or uh, if I'm just going to casually do it. Because I want to focus primarily on doing bossing. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now. And have a good one guys. Take care.